Hello everyone, this is Karthik Selvaraj and in this video we will be seeing about Mulesoft's Anypoint MQ. So this will be a hands-on demo. So let me straight away go to the browser. So to use Anypoint MQ, first you have to register in Anypoint platform. So it's pretty simple. Just sign up and it's free as well. You have to provide some basic information about your uh, name, email id, phone number, your company and the username that you want and password and just press create account you will get an account created so using that account you can log in so this is my account okay so i have logged in so here you can see freelance technical tutorials actually this would be the uh, company name which have you, you could have been given when you sign up so for this demo video i have provided it as freelance technical tutorials so so that's why you are able to see with this name okay so to access any point mq go to this mq and open it loading yeah so this is the portal mq any point mq portal so you can see the server this is the url of your server so you don't have much options i mean uh, in the sense it is very easy to use as well you can see destination and client applications so in this video we will be seeing how to create a queue how to drop a message, browse message and delete a message as well. Okay. So go to destinations. In the right hand side you can see a plus symbol. Just click it and it, it show, gives you an option to create a queue or an exchange. Uh, I will tell you what an exchange is. First we can create a queue. Okay. So we can uh, name this queue as uh, some uh, TE why news just think that this is a news channel okay uh, some example uh, maybe i can walk you around with a business example so next you have a default ttl so ttl stands for time to live so uh, whatever messages are dropped into this queue will be there for seven days as per this configuration so if it is in used for seven days automatically the message will be deleted from this queue that's what is called ttl time to live so maybe i can have it as one day have it as one day oh okay so here i have an error because for the queue name i can't have a space and uh, the two special characters it can be alphanumeric but the special characters that are allowed are a period and hyphen. Let me have it as hyphen. Even underscore is not allowed. You can see only hyphen and period are allowed. So next you have a default log TTL. So this is the value. So suppose there is a message and uh, we have uh, three applications um, which are listening to a queue so suppose when application one is the one which first gets access to this queue or to this message it will be locked for two minutes so the other two applications can't see the message in that particular queue if it is the application one is not able to process the message then the lock will be released after the lock is released the other two applications will be able to see those messages so if another application is trying to get that message again it will be locked for two minutes so it is the period of or the value of time in which the lock will be available for a message so that's called default lock ttl okay so you have a, a encryption on off or a assign dead letter uh, maybe we can see about this in a i mean uh, options later now i'll provide save changes so you can see that there's a queue created and you have a dashboard which shows you the messages, number of messages in the queue or uh, in flight. And it's a little nice dashboard which gives you some info about that queue. So let me create another one queue. 
and uh, let me call this uh, uh, thing as c b z sorry news do it as one day save changes and another q let me call it as c x z news <coughs> or uh, we can call it as uh, m n z news So now I have uh, created three queues and three queues doesn't have any messages in it. Okay. So if you want to drop a message in any of the queue, just go to this queue, just click it, and you can see that you can change the values or the settings of the queue as well. And you have two more options: message sender and message browser. So go to the sender. And in this type, you can select three types: text, CSV, and JSON. Maybe in future, more types might be added by Mule of Team. So let me have it as test. And I'll put hi there and send. So this is the payload of this message. So the message has been sent. So now you can. Uh, I mean. Now I am using a, a message sender to send a message. Maybe in real time scenario, there might be multiple applications which are sending messages to this particular queue. So which you can see using a message browser. Okay. So again, uh, if you go to the message browser, you got you have a setting or an option. So how much message to retrieve? So if there are thousands of messages. When you go to this get message, it can it will only retrieve the uh, 50 messages. So polling interval I have it as two, and it is 50. Okay. You can see there is only one message, and if I click this, you can see the payload of it over here, hide there, and you can see when it was sent, and what is the payload type. Okay. So going back to destination, if you go to this dashboard, right? just you don't have to click this just click somewhere here you you can see that now the depth of this queue is one you can see over here it is zero and this will also be zero good now what i'll do is now to delete a message from this queue just go to this queue get message And uh, you can just press this delete over here. That's it. it. It gets deleted. So if you go there and check, now you can see the cube depth is zero. So this is how you create and delete a message from a queue. And if you want to delete a queue itself, you can see there is a delete button over here. You can just delete it, and it will ask you. This will. This is not recoverable. You have to check and delete this queue. And you can see the queue is deleted. Okay. So let me create another queue. So let me call this GTX score news. So now all these three queues don't, don't have any message. Uh, let's assume that uh, now I have a uh, a company which uh, collects weather data and uh, I have three news channels who needs these weather data from me so it's a waste of time if I send these three guys messages each and every time so I need to have a pub sub model so that if I publish my message it is being uh, delivered to all the subscribers who need those messages so that is where when uh, we have the use of exchange. Okay, so you can have it as a weather X report. Okay, and you can select the subscribers who need this message. So now let us assume that we have three news channels: CBZ, GTZ, and MNZ. All of them needs our weather data. Okay, so it's safe. So now. If I want to publish a message, whatever 
should do it. and you can see the type over here so these trees are q and you can see the type of this one as exchange okay so just go inside and you have a message sender and you can provide the london 15 degree celsius Bangalore is so 20 degrees Celsius. Okay. And if I send, let's go back to the screen. And you can see each and every queue could have one message in, in, in here. Okay. So if I go to this queue to see the content, message browser. If I click this, you can see the payload as this. The other two queues would also be having the same one. So let me show you that. Okay. So this is how a message exchange work. So now we have a scenario. So due to some reasons, CBZ News doesn't need our uh, weather information. So in that case, what should be done? Just go to the exchange, okay? And you can unbind them, okay? Unbind them. So now, CBZ will no more get the message which has been published by this exchange called weather, okay? Now I'll go back. Now I'll uh, send another message. Let us go, I mean, uh, let me Paris. I'll put it as four degree. I'll send it and if you see here the message is only one and that is the previous message for GTX choose you can see there are two messages because the previous message and the message which we have sent now has been delivered and this also has that news message so let's go and browse it This is the first one and you can see the second one so this is there in this mn z news and it should also be there in this gtx news you can see but in cbz news you should not be able to see that paris message see so that is how it works so okay now CBZ news again want to have this weather data so adding them is also very easy just go to the exchange and you have to just click this bind button okay. so now CBZ will also receive the messages which are being uh, sent via the weather exchange so this is just a basic introduction about uh, the operations in any point MQ so I'll uh, speak about how to use uh, this client applications in my next video. So thanks for watching.